Feminism is literally the destruction of our society. Society really cheated women. Yep. In convincing them that they are like it is their world. If you are asking a woman to close herself in the sense that, no, I could do it on my own. I'm going to be independent. I don't need no man. Like all of this kind of, what that does is it shields away a woman from being her true divine self. Are crazy women destroying the West? We are forever reading headlines about the mental health crisis in the West. We're told that we're becoming more and more unhappy and more and more crazy. In many Western countries, mental illness is now the leading cause of disability and responsible for 30 to 40% of chronic sick leave, costing us around 4 to 5% in GDP. But who are all these sad and mad people? Well, mostly they're women. Have you ever talked to a feminist? Have you noticed that they hate men? Have you noticed that they walk around in fear of the unknown? What could happen? What would happen? What might happen? But they never talk about what actually happened. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another one. Hit that like on your way in. Tickle that notification bell. That will let you know whenever I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. The ultimate goal of the elite for driving women towards careers and promiscuity was to destroy traditional family values. <laughs> the powers that be understand that a child without a stable childhood is their greatest asset in furthering their agenda. So how do we increase the probability of children growing up in unstable homes? By indoctrinating young girls with feminist views and thus destroying the natural social cohesion of between the two sexes. Feminists have damaged the relationship between men and women so severely that the institution of marriage has become irresolute. It is a radical, bigoted movement which has made it even more difficult for not only men to progress in society, but also for women themselves. I want you to imagine a world without marriage. I want you to imagine a world without children. Imagine a world where men are petrified of women, where women act as if all men are evil, all men are dogs, all men are going to harm them. Now I want you to look at today's world. We're not that far from it. We live in a society where women expect bad things to happen. They've been indoctrinated to believe that family values are slavery. You always hear feminist women talk about the same points. They get mad at stay-at-home moms. They get mad at trad wives. And they also get mad at women that date men. A feminist cannot have an accurate world view. No. A woman that views men as evil will never understand why feminism is evil. Why feminism traps you in a limiting mindset. Feminism destroyed men and women. It destroyed women because they don't value family. It destroyed men because now women look at men as the enemy. Another talking point that I want to talk about is that feminists love to say, I don't want a man to tell me what to do. We need to have autonomy over our bodies. I'm going to say it. Control versus protection. I'm going to give an example. If you're a woman and you want a man to protect you, you have to give up some control in order to be protected. Yep. Imagine a security guard. And that security guard is protecting you. And he tells you, don't go here. Don't go there. 
don't go through this hallway. We're going to take you through the back. We're going to, we have a whole setup specifically for your safety. And you don't understand what that security guard knows. He may know about a hidden danger. Somebody out to harm you. Somebody out to get you. He may know that this part of the area is not good. But what do you do? You disobey. And then you get hurt. You get captured. You get taken advantage of. But then you want to blame the security guard when it was you that didn't listen. You stupid. You, 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 you stupid. And see, that's the problem with modern women today. You don't want to be under leadership. You would rather be misindependent. I don't need a man. I can do it all by myself. And then when we leave you to do it all by yourself, now all of a sudden you're like, it's too hard. I need a man. Either you want a man and you don't want to be independent or you don't want a man and you want to be feminist. But feminism is basically women's anger because they couldn't find a man. Because if you notice one thing about feminists, they're all older women. And they're all either married to women or they're single. I really do believe that modern feminism encourages male absence. It encourages it because it's become toxic. Um, they use terms like toxic masculinity, right? And I say to myself, all of their examples of the idea of what it means to be a man now is toxic. They think, oh, this is a man. Masculinity is wrong. There's something inherently wrong with being a masculine man. And to me, I always say that it was toxic masculinity that saved me. You know, I had a healthy fear of my grandfather. Nobody played around with my grandfather. They, we still don't play around with my grandfather, you know? And, and it's just, there's a certain level of respect when you're in his home. There are rules. And, and because I had that healthy fear, I, I was, I guess, more responsive to that sort of authority when I had to go out in real life. You know, I believe believed in structure. And yet this version of feminism today, we have women that are basically promoting men should act like women, right? Mm -hmm. And women should act like men. There's all this confusion. You can pick your gender, you can do what you want. And ultimately what I think it's doing is feeding into this idea of a breakdown of the family. And if they're married to a man, they are the breadwinner. Feminists don't believe in getting married and being a stay-at-home housewife, they will be the breadwinner. They will find a man who's down on his luck, disabled, whoever, where she has to be the primary breadwinner. Feminine, feminist women are very masculine. How you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied, I'm dying inside. So when you delve into the whole feminism, ladies, you need to break out of feminism. I'll be the victim all your life. Because feminism is anti-family. There's no such thing as family with feminism. Feminism teaches you to be an independent woman. I don't need a man. Being feminist is different than being feminine. But being feminine is a lot better than being feminist. And especially if you're a black woman, feminism destroyed the black community. But. So for a black woman to be feminist is to go against her own blackness. Look up Margaret Sanger and Susan B. Anthony. Look up the, the mothers of the feminist movement and how racist they were. Look up the author who wrote Black Mancho and the Myth of the Superwoman. How prejudiced, 
against black women she was. And you expect white racist people to have your best interests at heart and you're going to follow a movement that was created to give non-black women freedom because they didn't care about the black women. They cared about their own. Remember that when you want to be a black feminist. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, peace. Damn, you're good. Thank you.